Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Angie and I'm sharing in this video today a vision. I suppose you can call it a vision. <laughs> it felt very real. It felt like I was there. Let me explain. It was a few weeks ago. June Park Church. That's where we have church in the park. Father's Church. And each one of us have been touched by the Lord as we ask Holy Spirit to have his way. And I went down in the spirit. And while I was on the ground, lying on the grass, yes, in the park, hallelujah, no shame in our Lord Jesus, no matter where you are, you can let Holy Spirit have his way. And while I was lying down on the grass, I was aware of people around me but I was no longer there in spirit. I was in the heavenly places with our Lord Jesus. I saw, I was shown a white staircase and it was leading up into clouds. And Jesus was at the top of that staircase. And he was turning around with his hand outstretched to me. And he said to me, Come, I'll show you mysteries. Now understand, it wasn't a vision as such. I was there. I was there. I could feel his presence. I was there. I was also aware when I was no longer there and, and back more in this realm. Jesus said, I will show you mysteries. The staircase was like big steps going up into the clouds. They were white and they were narrow. The only way I could follow Jesus up the staircase that he was holding his hand out for me to, to, to climb up with him, if I followed directly behind him. And went up. Since then, he has shown me. <laughs> He's been showing me more and more mysteries. Mysteries of heaven. If you read in Genesis, Jacob's ladder, he was shown in a dream. Holy angels ascending and descending from heaven in a ladder, on a ladder. If you read through Daniel, and Job, through the New Testament even, talks about the mysteries. In Daniel, it talks about the God that reveals mysteries. God will reveal mysteries. If you read Jeremiah 33, 3, it says, Call upon me, and I will show you mighty things that you have not known. Great and mighty things that you have not known. When we call upon him, when we wait upon him, when we fast and pray and live a life consecrated to him, he will show you things. He will reveal things to you. No matter who you are. And he will reveal things for you to share. Like I'm sharing right now. Normally I do not share these experiences unless I feel a leading of Holy Spirit to do so. But this video is for someone. Father is talking to you. Follow Jesus. Follow Jesus. Wait upon him. Call upon him. Seek him. He wants to show you mysteries. He wants to reveal things to you. Revelations from heaven. Not from this earth. Not from your, your human reasoning and understanding and intellect from heaven those staircases were narrow I couldn't walk I couldn't walk alongside him I had to be right behind Jesus following him and they weren't little steps they were big steps so we walk in the power of his might not our own receiving mysteries from heaven is not something we do we can't make it happen it's not in our strength it's by the spirit of God who's with us he will reveal things to us. 
as the Father wants it done. His will be done as we are led by Jesus, our eyes upon him. Call upon him. He's speaking to someone right now. Call upon him. He wants to show you mysteries. He wants to reveal things to you. Open your eyes to what's really happening around you. Deeper understanding. Knowledge. Wisdom. It might just become a, a, an instant knowing in your spirit. An understanding. You might be reading the word of God, the scriptures, and suddenly... He reveals a revelation. It becomes a revelation. It comes alive in you. You become all excited and like, wow, what do you do with that? Freely we have received. Freely we give. Share it. If Holy Spirit leads you to share. Share it. Share the understanding. Share the revelation. Share the mystery as he leads but wait upon him not all things do we share there's a certain time for it that's why you need to wait upon him each day in prayer prayer is communion it's talking to our, our, our to our lord to our god he sits upon the throne in heaven but it's also waiting to hear what he's got to say he will speak to us by his spirit who's within us he will speak to us through the scriptures will confirm what we hear so we need wisdom to wait upon him what has been shown when do I speak it to whom do I speak it or should I stay quiet because sometimes mysteries are shown as a jigsaw puzzle they come in pieces and need to wait but he's perfect timing to release them like I knew in this video, I was to share about the lad, the, the staircase I saw. Jesus wants to reveal mysteries. He needs to trust us. We need to trust him. He needs to trust us. What we're going to do with what we're shown. As we wait upon his spirit to lead and guide us. Hallelujah. So this message is for somebody. Call upon him. He wants to show and reveal things to you. Wait upon him. Every day set time aside and wait upon him. Talk to him. Commune with him. Listen. Listen. It's a conversation. It's a relationship. And the more that he can trust you with what he shares, the more he will reveal. Now the Lord calls me seer, so it is normal for me for him to open my eyes to what's happening in the spiritual realm. What's happening with somebody, words of knowledge, insight, revelation, what's going on with somebody. I won't necessarily speak it, but I will pray and I only share by his leading. It becomes normal, naturally walking in the supernatural. It's not weird. Everyone can receive from God, whether you've been brought forth as a seer, intercessor, prophecy, everyone, everyone who has the Spirit of God, everyone can hear from God. Even as a non-believer, he looked after me. He knew I was his. I just didn't know it then. <laughs> everyone can hear from God. Ask him to reveal things to you. But your part is to wait upon him, to seek him daily. Fast if he calls you, leads you by his spirit to fast. It's not always food. It could be fast, fasting of something else, anything that will try to become an idol in your life. God comes first, doesn't he? We worship him, serve him, bow our knee and fear him only. Hallelujah. God bless you all. And Holy Spirit, I thank you that you touch the hearts of those who have watched this video. I know you're speaking to somebody about seeking the Lord and waiting upon him. 
to have mysteries revealed to them. Things that they did not know before. Revelations from heaven. To follow Jesus. As he was in this world, so are we. We are to walk as he walked. He is our example. And by his spirit is within us, he will enable us to do it. In the power of his might. He's calling on you right now to call on him, to seek him. Can you feel that nudge in your spirit? That's the Holy Spirit. He's talking to you right now. I don't know who you are. He does. And he loves you. And he wants to reveal more to you. He wants to show you things. Things of heaven. Mysteries of heaven. His heart. He's hard about your situation. He's hard about your family, your loved ones. He's hard about your community, about the nations. He's hard. You need to know his heart. We need to know his heart. And then live it. God bless you all. I love you. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, strength. And Jesus said, mind. With all your mind. With all your understanding. And we're to love others as Jesus loves them. Hallelujah. God bless you all. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.